Hello and welcome to the Artsy Guru channel. I'm William, the Artsy Guru, and today we are getting ready for the fall and the Christmas time. We are going to put together a pecan cherry fruitcake. It is fabulous and your friends will love it. And make sure that you always give them a taste test before you hand them out because oh, this will not be something they keep in the refrigerator and then send it off to somebody else. All right, so let's get started. So we are gonna start out with our mixer. We are gonna put in one and a half cups of sugar and one and a half cups of flour. It's like we're starting to put the glue together. Ah. Oh, I really should put this in some kind of a thing with a slanty side on it or something. All right, so go ahead, mix this up a little bit. Ah, yes, teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder. Fabulous baking powder. And as far as that, that is it for that part. So go ahead and mix these up a little bit. <laughs> it's getting a little powdery. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's good and mixed up. So now, let's start adding the fruit and nuts. So go ahead and put in your five and a half cups of pecans. Now you can use chopped, I'm using halved pecans. Okay, now, one pound of chopped dates, okay? You can get them already chopped up. It's perfect. All righty. Now, one pound of dry, uh, candied dried um, uh, pineapple, okay? Go ahead and put that in. Mm, this is so much fun. Every year I make them and send them out. Last year I sent out several of them. Well, I wouldn't just say several of them. Okay, now let's go ahead and put in our maraschino cherries. Now we're putting in two eight ounce jars of them, okay? Um, just go ahead and dump the juice out. You can actually cut these in half if you'd like, but I go ahead and put them in whole. Also pronounced meraschino. I learned that. It's fabulous. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix this up, all right? It's a messy job. <laughs> Don't you love it? Ah, gotta sling out something, I guess. Any hoosies. All right, so everything's starting to get a little wet. All right, so let's go ahead. We've got six whole eggs here. Go ahead and put those in here. What we're gonna do is whisk them up a little bit and a half a cup of apple juice. Now, if you'd like, you can go ahead and make your own apple juice out of um, fresh apples. I always just buy um, good 100% apple juice, okay? It's the best. Alrighty, now, this actually is so easy, simple, fast, a bit messy. Well, I can't exactly say fast because we're going to be cooking this for two whole hours. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and mix this up. Ah, this is beyond fabulous. Now, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. <laughs> I am so bad at working this thing. Oh, I swear. No, actually, it's fabulous. I love my Keurig. 
Did I just say Keurig? <laughs> I meant KitchenAid. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and put this to the side. Now, we've got two of these. Nine and a half inch baking pans. I've already gone ahead and put some parchment paper in there. Okay, so let me go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. Okay, we are back. We have got our fruitcake all mixed up. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and put them in a uh, parchment paper lined nine and a half, uh, nine by five inch um, pan. Okay, so we have enough here for two of those. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. All right, so just start pouring it in going to be as even as you possibly can get it. Oh, look at that. You don't want to over mix these things. Just make sure that your eggs are gone through. I mean, your eggs get mixed, your flowers mixed properly. Uh-oh, there's a whistle. I guess it's time to quit <laughs> for the day. <laughs> oh. All right, so, okay, so make sure this is um, even as possible on both of these, okay? Now, with fruitcake, if you noticed on the recipe, there's flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt, and eggs, okay? I want you to always remember that if you do not like pecans, substitute them. Substitute them with something else, some other kind of nut or something. If you don't like the cherries, omit them. Put more pineapple in. It's whatever you want because I consider that part, the, the flour, the sugar, the eggs, um, the baking powder and the salt to be the glue that holds all this other stuff together, okay? So, let's go ahead and finish getting any of these in the pan. Okay. All right, these look fabulous. Okay, so now I am going to put these in a 300 degree oven for around two hours. So, I will see you back shortly. Hello and welcome back. Oh, we have a fabulous outcome to our wonderful fruitcake. Oh, it's gonna be good. Look at this. I have two of them here. See, wonderful. Okay, so now I want to show you how easy it is to actually get these out. All you have to do is lift. Look at that, it's fabulous. Okay. So lift these out. Now we'll push this one to the side and go ahead and just pull these down. Look at that, no sticking, nothing. It's wonderful. And we now have a fabulous, wonderful fruit cake. So let's go ahead and cut this open so you can see inside of it. Oh. Those pecans are cracking. I hear them. They're wonderful. Oh, look at that. Amazing with cherries and pineapple. Ah, oh, look at this. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, and the smell is so good. You are going to love it. So, if you love today's video, do not forget 
to hit like and subscribe and ring that bell. Also, go to artsyguru.com where you can see all these videos and my blogs and, and get the recipes to uh, make this and everything. Thank you for joining me today and have a fabulous fall season. Thank you.